Let's talk about uh, having kids. Kids. Right? Mm. Babies. We love Babies, kids. you guys you guys are lighting up over here. Anybody no. on the panel have kids that they're claiming? No. Aww. All right. Huh? Uh, three cats. <laughs> red or I green, three cats. ladies, how many of you want kids? Red or green? Green. Here. No babies. Green. Guys, why is it so complicated to raise your thing? Green. It's under your right leg. <laughs> okay. okay well. Green, green, red. Green, green. Natalia? Green. Green. Uh, note to production, get a couple more of the thumbs so we don't have to I, actually use our thumbs. It's my fault. So it's most of you guys want kids. Um, there's some stats out there. We're going to show this article in a second. Uh, but, Rayan, why off the bat? How old are you, by the way? I'm 23. You're, well, see, that's, that's right. That's Your brain right. hasn't fully, fully formed yet, the prefrontal 25. cortex. Yeah, but at 23, why don't you want kids ever? Uh, well, at 20. Ever. Ever? Yeah. Maybe like when I'm 40. What? Like yeah, but see, 40? That's a different, but that's you a different. want me having kids at 40. But in her mind, that's not a different. That's, that's not, not a, her lifetime. That's not a thing 40 right is now. not a reality to her. It's like, not. Okay. Legitimately, it is not real. I could die tomorrow. Again, but, but, but you, when you... <laughs> But right the odds ahead. are 99.9999% chance you I'm want that. We, we've about been those watching. Kids. Hold on, we've been watching. You just heard the girl next to you basically <laughs> say she had an epiphany that she used to be a young 23 year old, but now she's a wise 23 year old woman. Damn. You know what? How'd you not listen to <laughs> what your friend said? Wise, like six year old woman. I don't think that's woman. what I said, but. What? <laughs> I said wise six year old woman with the traditional. 26 year old. Yeah, I feel like traditional stuff is like old, like 60 so years old. So paint me your stuff. ideal life before I show you this article. My ideal what? life is just being super rich and just being happy, being with someone that I love. Um, maybe kids, maybe not. I don't know. But like some people, they can't even be allowed to have kids. Rolo, on a scale of one to delusional, where mm. does our friend rank? And what you delusional. Seen? I mean, when your retirement plan is to find a uh, suitcase full of money on the side of the road. No, I'm not saying I'm going to gonna, like, get money. Oh, my God. Yeah. I work for my money. Mm. I work for my shit. But like. I believe you. Yeah. So. But, so, but see, <laughs> I mean, you also have to point out that she's 23 yeah. years old. She's at Correct. The, she's probably at the apex of her yeah. like, sexual market value. And so the last thing she's thinking of is children at this point in that time, one. right? Yeah. Yes. The, the average age of first pregnancy is right around 28, 29 years old. The okay. average age what? of first marriage in the United States for women is 30, and it's 31 or 32 for men, right? It's gone up, actually. Like, I'm so not thinking she's about not, it's, it's, a, it's a complete. Like you were saying, it's a completely different reality from her. She's not thinking about long-term okay, right now. But I, I get it, and I totally respect it, but, but there's a difference between thinking about it and at least acknowledging at some point, yeah, that'd be nice. At 40? What are the chance? What percentage of women have kids she's after just, forty? You have a five percent there, chance though. of conception at forty. You could adopt. Okay. <laughs> I'll get uh, freezer I'm trying eggs. to help you. But here's <laughs> the story, and this is what is alarming, and this I think is a very necessary conversation because we could talk about body count and this and that. This is actually uh, reproducing the planet. Here's right. an article from the Wall Street Journal. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, there aren't enough babies, mm -hmm. and the whole world is alarmed. "Quote unquote," one of the economists said. Man, this just snuck up on us. Really? No, it didn't. Um, so fertility rates have plummeted around the world, so much so that the United Nations is now paying attention. The pace of the decline has caught many off guard. Snuck up on us. Mm. The fertility rates declining faster and more extensively than previously predicted. Actual birth registries, registries reported significant undershoots compared to the UN estimates with countries like the United States and China experiencing substantial declines, global fertility have reached between 2.1 and 2.2. Mm. So big bold letters, this is the first time in human history that fertility rates have fall below replacement Placement levels. levels. I'm and gonna show is, you what this article way, looks like. that is bullshit. Okay. Because the United show, States show has the, been below the fertility, has okay. been below replacement since 1975. Okay. Mm. Uh, no one was talking about that. You have the clip? Do we have an image right there of the picture of uh, that I sent you? Yes. Just show, yeah, show the image. So, Rolo, explain, please. No, I mean, it's, it's, uh, I've been doing sort of this series on uh, 1971, actually the decade between 1965 and 1975, and all of the social changes and things that have happened since the advent of hormonal birth control. This is, a, a worldwide, this is an effect of one invention, 
hormonal birth control. Okay. Okay. And, and by so the way, do you have look, the one with the other countries as well? The, if you look at the below, like the, oh, there it is, the right birth, there. Birth rate Scroll in the United down. States dropped below replacement level starting in 1975 and has been there since then. Punch in on the United States. What countries are these, Alejandro? I can't see. USA, Mexico, India, you China. Have USA, Mexico, okay. India, so China. So punch in on the United States specifically because mm -hmm. you know I'm not so much worried about what's going on in India. Good for them. Mm -hmm. But Rolo, make some sense of what's going on in the United States. That's the one. Um, the United States has been below. Like if you, if oh, that goes to 1980, if you went back as far as like 1970, you would see where the drop takes place. Mm -hmm. It's right after hormonal birth control. Mm -hmm. If you look at oh. hormonal birth control and you look at all the things that happened since then, like right around 1971, if you look at from 65 to 75, mm -hmm. the divorce rate skyrockets along with the use of hormonal birth control. If you take those two stats and you overlay them, it's, I, I know correlation is not causation, but that's a hell of a correlation. Well, so there's okay. a study about women who got off of it that were then all of a sudden attracted to different well, people. And then look, yes. so, and then look what, so, and then look what happens. In 1968, we start no-fault divorce. That's when mm -hmm. Reagan uh, approved it in uh, California, and then all the other states followed right after that. Then you have women entering into the workforce. What do we have to do then? Now mm -hmm. we can get credit cards. Oh, thank you, mm -hmm. feminist. No, it's the insurance companies because what happened in 1971? We went off the gold standard, and so now we have fiat currency. And the and the, the insurance companies are, and the and the credit companies are like, yeah, ladies, here you come a long way, baby, you know, and give her all that. Then you've got abortion. Abortion happens in what 1973, 72, 72, yep. 72. and you got Roe v. Wade in 1972. Now mm -hmm. we have that as a fail safe. We've got hormonal birth control as a fail safe. We have a skyrocketing divorce rate. We have a plummeting marriage rate to we, where we are right now, which mm -hmm. is uh, 6.1 per 1,000 people right now. Now, we are at the lowest in recorded history in the United States right now. All started 1965. Everything you can tra track back. If you go and you look at it economically, if you look at, uh, gross, if you look at produ productivity in the United States, when women enter the workforce because they have to, because they divorce all their husbands yep. back when, when hormonal birth control happened, now they enter the workforce, productivity skyrockets. But mean wages stay the fucking same. So, so it's a great boon for for uh, for companies and everything else that goes. Then you got a lot of follow on stuff like Title IX and the rest of the stuff that that follows. Rolo, who was the president going. in 1965? Was that LBJ? Uh, it is. is that the Great Society. Yeah, it wasn't Nixon yet. Yeah, it, it was. Yeah. Okay, I, I want to get your perspective mm -hmm. on this, and then I'm going to give you a couple of the reasons why I think birth rates have declined, mm -hmm. at least in America. Mm -hmm. But you touch on so many important things right there, mm -hmm. Michael. What are some of the Daily reasons? Daily Wire. You're a, you're welcome. You can have all of that data. I know you're going to clip that and use it in your shit. Go for there it. There you go. <laughs> Steal. Rob me blind. It's there fine. it is. Go ahead. Because I have a couple notes, but mm -hmm. what do you think? Uh, yeah, this is crazy. You guys ready? I know I'm going to be labeled a conspiracy theorist. <laughs> Birth control caused fewer births. Wow. Oh. <laughs> what? That's it. I, mean, I don't understand what else. Amazing. Why do you need anything else? Oh. It's a, is that a, but that's a conspiracy, though. That's the mm -hmm. conspiracy. That's what happened. Ken, no, do you want to weigh in on this? That's, that's exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> so, <laughs> so do you mean to tell me that birth control control controlled birth? births? That's crazy. What? Yeah. Insane. Bro, some, some say, you know, we sometimes take that for, it's we, right we, in front of your we face. We honest to God take that for granted, but we like, think about yes. how we used to date before birth control and how we date oh, after yeah. birth control. Yes. And Here's some of the things that I put together because it's absolutely, I tracked it back to 1965 because mm -hmm. we talk about it mm -hmm. on the PBD podcast where we talk about fatherless homes and the mm -hmm. likelihood of what will uh, produce a successful, mm -hmm. productive member of society and a lot of it is tied to the man being in the home, not just the woman being in the home. Mm -hmm. So this is what I wrote down as far as why are people having less kids. Feel free to say I agree, disagree, what have you. Um, 1965, the Great Society, LBJ, basically said, you don't need to be married to your man. You can be married to the state. That's the welfare state. For every extra kid that you have, we're going to pay you more. Boom. That turned into uh, marriage rates plummeting, mm -hmm. birth control rates plummeting. Um, modern feminists, I don't need no man. We've talked about this a million times. Baby mm -hmm. mama culture, hookup culture, abortions, sexual welfare, revolution, sexual revolution, boss babes, get your back, girl. You don't need no man. The future is female. Who run the world? Girls, we all know that after 35, there's uh, geriatric pregnancies. You said after 40, there's a 5% chance of, you of getting pregnant. Yeah. Good luck with that. The cost of a child is now $250,000. Women are looking at their bag. All right, cool. Mm -hmm. Do I want to pay for this? But we all know the man's actually paying for it. Forget about that. Marriage rate's plummeting. Social media shows up. What's one of those things you take when you take a picture? What is this? What's it called? Selfie. Oh, a mm -hmm. selfie. That learns you to being a little bit more selfish, not selfless. So you're focusing on yourself. Traditional decline 
of family values, um, decline in, uh, in uh, values in America. So there was a Wall Street Journal article, uh, the decline uh, values such as family, religion, patriotism, God bless America, community, <laughs> and actually wanting to have children. The only thing that increased in traditional values is trying to make that money. So we're asking, like, what the hell is going on here in society? Now, you might be saying, well, Adam, you don't have any kids. Well, Michael, you don't have any kids. You have any kids? No, not but yet. Men can have kids well into their 30s, into their 40s, their 50s. Al Pacino just had a kid at what age? 83. 187 years old. <laughs> Rocky Marciano. <laughs> was under, so Joe Lewis, beat low Joe Lewis. Has. But women, you know, our beautiful friend over here, Rayan, she's going to learn. You're going to learn today. I At know one point, time clock. the I know 23, that. you're hot and amazing. Next thing you know, you're 33. And you're like, I still got it. The guy that you thought you were interested doesn't want you anymore. Next thing you're going to be 43. And here's what's going to happen. You're going to go to the bar. You're going to get a drink. And you're hot. And you usually use the guys that you drink. And next thing you know, you're buying your own drink, boo. Not a good look. <laughs> so that's what's going to happen there. Mic drop moment.